in here with Lisa, and we're going to eat something delicious. You may know her as Buddy Velastro's wife, but we like to think of her as the real boss behind the cake box, because behind every great man, there's an even greater wife boss, I like to agree. Lisa Velastro. I have I have to Welcome, agree. Lisa. Yes. Thank you. Making us your classic, famous meatless meatballs. Absolutely, We're very excited Everyone, for that. Everyone, whoever hears meatless meatballs, they're like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and then I go through the whole story with them. So basically, this recipe comes from both of our grandparents. It started with them, because you know they had a lot of kids. Grand right. I know my grandmother had like eight kids. My husband. They all did back yeah. then, yeah. So you know they didn't have a lot of money growing up, so they came up with this recipe of making a meatball but without the meat. Well, I don't want to make you nervous, but you kind of have some um, heavy hitters sitting at the counter today oh with boy. you. <laughs> Joining us at the counter is author, actor, and humanitarian, one of our very favorite people, William Shatner. Oh, back. Also American Idol winner, Trent Harmon. He's yeah. going to be seeing you for us in just a little bit. And food and lifestyle expert, Brandy Malloy. Welcome back, Brandy. We're so happy to have you all. And of course, Ken and Larissa, also heavy hitters. They're a big deal, Lisa. Those two at the end are the biggest deal of every day. <laughs> So you guys to taste these. We are then. going to taste them. So you guys them. dig, dig in. in. So this is, I, I love you say, you know, this was an old school thing. Like if, when you hear meatless meatballs today, you think like some sort of vegan, you, you, new kind of absolutely. thing. But it's not at all. No, not at all. And, um, you know, both of our families grew up with this recipe. And it's so funny because when my husband and I met, I knew about the recipe. He knew about the recipe. And we just continued it in our family home until this day. Actually, our kids prefer these over meatballs. Oh my gosh, wow. that's you two when you were babies. I was 19, oh. yeah. What? Oh, and look oh, at that's you. That's now. Are, are yep. your meatballs better than your grandma's? I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from every generation, the recipe changes a, a little, little bit. bit. All right, so what so, do we do? We start with eggs. That's our base. Okay. And I'd like to add a little bit of minced garlic. Oh, or a lot. Or a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing with me is... I like to cook. Cooking is not measuring. Cooking I is agree. just eyeing everything. Yes. My husband's the baker. We'll leave the measuring That's to him. That's the science. <laughs> I like to add about, I'm going to say two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Then, of course, Parmesan and Romano cheese. Grated, Who doesn't like nice. cheese? Beautiful. Could you use any other kind of cheese or would you stick to that? I would stick to this. Okay. Yes, I would definitely stick to this. But again, everyone tweaks their recipes a little bit differently. About a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. Okay. Then, of course, we have our pepper. salt and pepper. How many eggs was that? This was a dozen eggs. A dozen, all right. And so how now, does that make? Sorry. Uh, depends on how big you. Okay. We roll uh, okay. Out. That's going to be a trick <laughs> later. Okay. So, what I'd like One. to do first. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a whisk? Bowl, meat bowl. Well, <laughs> at home, believe it or not, bowl. I use a fork. <laughs> okay, you use the fork it's, then, it's whatever's the more Italian comfortable. It's the Italian style, it's the, you know. So yeah, mom it's so it's it's like, like it's just eggs and cheese because it tastes so hearty. Yeah, it does, yeah. Like, right? It tastes like meat, but they're so tender. Well, there's, there's right. breadcrumbs. Well, uh, now uh, the next trick is this. Once you have all these ingredients mixed in, you want to add your breadcrumbs slowly because what the consistency you're looking for is like a thick cream. Okay, so if you get it, if you put too much, so, it'll be too dense. Exactly, and if, you, if it's too dense, what happens is after you chill it in the refrigerator and it comes out, it's going to be like... A puck. Mm. You don't want to eat a puck. <laughs> what kind of bread? Just normal breadcrumbs? Seasoned breadcrumbs. That's Season. all I use is seasoned okay. breadcrumbs. Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Of course, breadcrumbs. Have to be Italian. Absolutely. Breadcrumbs. Absolutely. So I Would you work that very well or you don't want to work it too much either? Uh, no, you want to just, you want to get it to the consistency. This is still too loose. Okay. So I am going to add probably another two, three. Okay, there we go. There's still, that's not a lot of breadcrumbs. Mm. No. No. No, no, And no. they're very it's finely. Not. Yes. They're, yeah, did you put them in a, um, a... What's uh, its toast? What's its toast? <laughs> what's its toast? Yes, on the word. Thingy. It's a well, new, it's a new gadget by Hasbro. A food process. <laughs> so what's its toast? A food process. If you make fresh breadcrumbs, then yes. I was up early. Absolutely. <laughs> so now you got a thick, creamy consistency, and we are going to. You need to get your glasses back, daughter. <laughs> my toes and my glasses. I can't. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> We're going to actually pop this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Okay. As it chills, right. the breadcrumb is going to absorb Good. all that liquid. And it's gonna harden. Would this oh. normally be served over pasta? Could you? Well, when I make it on Sundays, I do serve it over pasta. Right. But then the next day, I just take those right just out of the fridge out with sauce and warm oh. it up. These All are right. great. Like a meatball, meatless meatball sandwich. Perfect. Oh, do you need another? Right. Right. I'm need another just, spoon? Yep. Just here you go. Don't or pasta with plenty. Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> there you go. 
So as you notice, now that it has come that's out of the refrigerator, the same, it's the it. same oh, mixture. Wow. Well, look how it thickens. And see how it thickens? Uh -huh. So remember, if you add too much breadcrumb in the beginning, it's going to be, it's gonna it's be, be too much. solid. So now what? So now comes the, the fun, fun part. part. <laughs> <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to dip my hands in olive oil. Okay. And then we get a little bit of the mixture in your hands, and you kind of have to just play with it. You're not going to roll it like a meatball oh. because it's not thick. So it'll fall apart. It'll fall apart. Oh. Now so what this is, all is that the size? Do. Yep. You don't okay. want to make them bigger because as you cook them, they're going to double in size. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So you have to be oh, careful really? about how many you, you put in there. Exactly. So, wow. That's about uh, the size as you, you cook them, they double in size. And as you eat them, <laughs> you double in <laughs> size. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really, uh, I'm really yeah. intrigued by the fact there's no tofu in there. Which I know is, nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, do, is this something you make quite a bit? I do. It's a weekly, it's a weekly occurrence really? in my house. Oh, and yes. the kids love it. They love it. They actually prefer this over the meatballs. Over the other ones. Mm -hmm. wow. But you this is keep easy. almost everything in the pantry, too. I know. And yeah. have it yeah. Yeah. It's I'm so always <laughs> looking for ways to cut out meat or lessen my intake. Mm -hmm. This is so easy. So how long do we leave them in now? So this is now the trick. The okay. trick of this is once you put them in, because you want to put it on a low. This should have been actually on on a low. And is that a homemade sauce? This is a, of course. <laughs> of course. I, I buy, oh, oh. Debbie, Debbie. I yeah. buy Kara the tomatoes asked. in my house okay, and good. we make fresh sauce. So once you put them in, you want to cover it and you do not want to touch it for at least 10 minutes. Because if you go in there before those are cooked and start when stirring they it, apart. they will fall oh. apart and you'll have a sauce with just mush. mush in it. A so mushy then, mess. Is it only 10 minutes? How long do you have to cook them? About 10 minutes. That's it? 10 minutes so you stir a little bit. All right. And then maybe an extra five minutes and they'll be all done and voila. Voila. Wow. It's wow. Voila. I so will I show what we have. You guys have been together since you were 19 years old. Since oh. nine So five years. Yeah. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I understand your original um, Dinner and a movie oh. night really wasn't what most teens think of. It was not. What, how did you spend those early years? So basically, when I met my husband, you know, he had a bakery and he was running a bakery, and his busy season, what his busy time of the week was Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Sure. Uh -huh. So instead of you know going to the movies like everyone else was doing, I would make dinner for him and I would bring it to him. And he had a bench lined up of buttercream wedding cakes, oh, birthday cakes, my just going from one to another. We would eat there and I would just sit and watch him decorate cakes. <laughs> and then wow. he had dessert. I was going to say, go. the dessert was already built in. Oh my there you goodness. go. So here you are, nearly 20 years later, four kids later. Four kids so later. So beautiful. You're thank basically you. taking over the culinary world between oh, you and your husband. Thank you. <laughs> so the real question is, are the kids cooks or bakers? Because it's, a different, uh, it's wow. a different animal. It's funny you ask, because I got both. So um, our daughter loves to bake. She actually comes up with her own recipes. Wow. Yes. She How old does. is she? She's 15. Wow. And then our first son, mm -hmm. um, Buddy Jr., of course. <laughs> he, uh, he is 13, and uh, he likes to do both. Aww. He loves to do both. He, he's into the cooking, mm -hmm. but he's also into the baking. So he's like, step well, aside, Mom and Dad. Yeah. Exactly. There are yeah. new bosses in town. <laughs> and and we, we do sometimes have competitions in the house. You do? We, do. we have cooking enough. competitions. I'll take two kids, he'll take two kids. We'll make something, and then we'll you know, invite our sisters or brothers over to taste test. Oh. And then there was one time that Mom and Dad were the judges. Oh, and the four kids were kids. Oh, I love wow. this. Are we ever going to see that on the show? Um, I think actually, yeah, it did air. That's actually, amazing. It did air. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You should continue that. That so, would be so great. It's fun. Okay, I'm gonna dig Debbie, it. have a biteless bite of a meatless meatless. A biteless meatless bite. meatball. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Tell me what you think. The recipe, by the way, we'll share on our website. More delicious Italian fare from the Velasco family. Be sure to stop by That's Buddy V's restaurant. It's either Las Vegas if you're traveling or Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, San Antonio, Texas. Wherever you are, I'm sure you'll find some great Italian food. Thank you so much. I can't believe this is meatless.